Kubrick faked moon landing. This refers to the theory that moon landing actually never happened. NASA reached out to Hollywood where Stanley Kubrick helped them fabricate the whole thing up. And to support this, some of the main points of argument that show up are there being no stars in these moon landing footages and how the flag seems to be waving when it could not be. Also some links from the filmmakers movies as well. So amazing that it all would have blown even Stanley's mind. The unsure ones love spreading the story and space enthusiasts love disproving it. So much fun. Million Dollar Space Pen this is supposedly a pen that NASA spent millions of dollars to make so that it can write in space by somehow having its ink be put onto the paper independent of gravity. This discussion is mostly extended by adding that the Soviet cosmonauts came up with a much cheaper alternative to it, which was using pencils rather. This inspiring little tale actually isn't true and has gained popularity due to this scene from West Wing. We spent millions of dollars developing a pen for the astronauts that would work in zero gravity. You know what the Russians did? Used a pencil? They used a pencil. In reality, the answer is that even NASA used wooden pencils to do the job. But now the question is, where did West Wing get the story from? You can't see the Great Wall of China from space. There has been a belief that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure that's actually visible from space. Where does this come from? Maybe from the fact that it is the longest creation of mankind on land, so maybe perhaps somehow it's visible. Mostly coming from people who are probably not from the few individuals who went to space to confirm that. As since I can see this T added to the entry by the author of the iceberg, I'll just add that this is actually not true and that somebody probably started that rumor, largely underestimating the size of the blue marble. The face on Mars This refers to this apparent face-like shape that is visible on the Mars, which was founded by NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft when it was circling the planet. And as it monitored the region on the red planet, which is referred to as Cydonia, around the possible landing sites of its sister ship Viking 2, it captured images of this massive face staring back at it. A face that is actually a mesa that somehow shaped in a way as to make it convenient for pareidolia that human perception seems to love. Guns in Space If you have a gun and you're out in the space and you shoot a bullet out of it, the bullet will keep traveling in space all alone forever. Because although a bullet is pretty fast in the speed standards here on Earth, in the expanding universe that still isn't fast enough. The galactic clusters would be moving away from the short bullet, every second at a pace way faster than the fastest known bullet you can shoot in the abyss at the moment. So guns in space would only lead to lonesome bullets traveling through the fabric of the universe for the rest of the eternity. Like a Laika was a stray dog from Moscow who, in 1957, was chosen by the Soviet scientists to be the first animal to make an orbital space flight around the Earth in order to test the effects of zero-gravity on living organisms and to aid their pace in the space race. And so, an almost three-year-old mongrel dog was strapped into Sputnik 2 with a harness and implanted sensors to detect and measure the changes in stats like pulse, breathing, heart rate, etc. The sad part is that soon after the launch, those sensors captured Laika's heart rate increase as the temperature in the rocket rose up to 40 degrees Celsius. And within about 6 hours, Laika's heart stopped. The frustrating part, however, is that it was well known that it would turn out bad for Laika. There were no plans to have her return. Even scientists' best guess was that she would survive for about seven days before dying of oxygen deprivation. For given the technology known at the time, the tragic end was inevitable. Yet driven by the pressure of being the first one to explore the universe, they decided to push the button, knowing that the capsule that the dog was in was pretty much her grave.
Rest in peace, love.